But with Freeform just landing on the iPad, there are some fantastic opportunities for collaborative learning spaces, utilizing Jamf Teacher to help get that information out to your students. So let's take a look at how that looks. Here you can see the teacher device on the left, student device on the right. Let's start by looking at creating a Freeform board. I've already set one up here, just as an example, using some of the tools that you can learn about in lots of other videos um, around what Freeform actually does. As a basic overview, you have some drawing tools, you have your post-it notes, you have shapes. If you're used to using Keynote pages, etc., you'll recognize all of those shapes in there as well. Text boxes, and then photos, links, etc., any sort of additional media that you might want to add in. So it's a really, really great tool to sort of set up those learning sequences you want in your classroom. Let's just remove some of these ones from my board, go back to the board that I started with. Here I've just created something as a really, really simple lesson starter. Let's try to find out what we currently know about a topic. So the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to create a lesson in Jam Teacher. So I'm in the lesson section, I'm just going to quickly go to create lesson. I'll quickly call this space. I'm happy with the apps to be used. I'm not going to worry about the link at this point. I'm just going to switch off some of those additional tools that I don't really need. Uh, let's just turn off the App Store and iTunes and Game Center. We don't need those. But we want everything else, functionality of the device, and click Save. Done. So next thing, go back into my board, tap on my Share icon, and you'll see Jamf Teacher comes up as an extension to share to, and there's that lesson I've just created for space. Tap Save, give it a title. We'll call it Solar System Thoughts, and then just tap Submit. And there we go, successfully added. Now if I go back to that lesson and go into my space lesson, we'll see that that's now being, going to be added in here under my lesson link. So I haven't had to do anything additional there, haven't had to copy anything over, just do it from Freeform using the share extensions. So if I now go to my class, let's go into a science class for example, and I'm going to start that lesson, I'm going to choose that space lesson and go ahead and start that. That's now just going to connect to my students so that they're ready to go with that. Now on the student device, if I go on to the uh, student application, you'll see that I have lesson links and you'll see that solar system thoughts one is there. And I can go ahead and just retrieve that. It's going to open that on my device. And on the teacher device, I can go into that same one. And now the student has that ability to be able to use all of those same tools and start to add in whatever they think about the topic. There we go. Maybe they're, maybe they're going to draw something about Earth. My very, very quick, rough sketching. And you see how that works from the student device across to the teacher device. And obviously, if I've shared that with all of the students, all the students have access to that same board. Really, really quick and easy way to get something started and use Jamf Teacher as your tool to allow that collaboration to take place across your class of devices. So there we go, give it a go.